and just watching them progress and grow every day that they come to the gym. You know, everything is a new challenge and everybody here has a different story. You know, it could be from a child who just wants to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, wants to learn how to defend themselves. Could be a mother who just had a baby that wants to lose some weight because she don't feel good about herself. So I, I think it's the, the end results for me of whatever challenges a person brings here that we're faced with. Excellent. So what, is, what are some of your successes since you had the club open and since you, you know, providing this opportunity for the youth in, in our local area? What are some of your success stories? Well, we, we've had some kids that, uh, that have done well competition-wise. Um, and we've had some kids that have excelled education-wise. You know, boxing, boxing isn't for everybody, but the lesson is, you know, I mean... Prime example, the, the, the man that we are honoring this gym, his name, Floyd Patterson, he was a legend, you know. Um, this man trained thousands of young men. He only had one world champion, and that was his son, Tracy. So the, 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 the men that he did help produce became some really, really good, productive members of society. And... At the end of the day, would I like a world champion too? Absolutely I would. But to me, it's more rewarding to train a kid who came out of high school who then three years later, you know, is in, comes out of the army and he's like, everything that you taught me, you know, I, I applied it to, to, to the next level of whatever I was doing, which in this case was military with one of my kids. Another one of my kids, you know, he, uh, he, he went to college, he became a, uh, a sports announcer. Accredited a lot of his success to the things that he learned at the gym. So, excellent. That's excellent. So, what are some of the benefits of, of joining your particular boxing club? What, what are some of the things that people can take away from it being, you know, uh, new to the to the sport, so to speak? I think it's just it's for for me. I, I can only speak for myself. It's it's more than just boxing. And like I stated earlier, I opened this gym up not so much to develop champions or anything like that as opposed to developing good productive members of society. So I, I, I wanna say that, that you know, anything that we, that we do here is, everything that we do here is important. You know, and it's, it's more than, than just throwing punches. You know, there's a lesson in everything, and, and including ourselves as coaches and mentors, because we get to learn off of the child that we're, that we're working with. So, one of the questions that I have for you, Coach, I mean, you've been in this game for a long time, right? So, now... You saying I'm old? It's, no, I'm not saying... <laughs> <laughs> not at all, not at all. But, but what I'm noticing now is recently there's been a huge increase of viewership of MMA. Now, how does that compare to boxing? And does that have any bearing on boxing's visibility going forward? Honestly, to me... You know, um, I don't know enough about MMA to, to 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 really comment on it. As far as it affecting boxing, my personal opinion is, you know, in MMA, from what I've seen, you need a stand-up game. And your stand-up game is learning how to throw punches and move and so forth. And, and if you notice, the better MMA fighters are the ones that, you know, have a good ground game and have a very good stand-up game. So for me... <laughs> It's just like uh, adding new members, you know, because we get a lot of members that are, you know, MMA fighters. We actually have a young lady. Her name is Fatima Klein, and she won the Junior Olympics with us wow. as an amateur boxer. Yes, and she just signed a, a pro contract for MM to be fighting MMA. Uh, I don't know. It's called Invictor or something like that. I don't really know the the names of the organizations, but. You know, you, you can actually transcend in, in both to me. So to me, MMA, and, you know, I, I wish them lots of success. I don't believe that it affects boxing at all. I think it's just apples and oranges. You know? Absolutely. So what's your overall philosophy on boxing and where do you see it going, you know, the next five to ten years? You know, uh, I, I, as far as my philosophy with boxing goes, you're going to get out of it what you put in. Everybody has a story, like I stated before. Everybody's, you know, has a different 
the different output, outcome that they expect from boxing. And like I said, some people want to learn how to defend themselves. Some people want to learn, you know, proper conditioning and technique of the sport. Some people want to do a bucket list and they want to get in there and spar. And then there's some people that want to take it to a next level and compete. You know, the training is different on the levels. Like you wouldn't train a house mom or a retired person the way you would actually train somebody that really wants to compete, but you would give them the same foundation. Indeed, indeed. So who's your favorite boxer of all time and why? Tracy Patterson, because he's the <laughs> best friend in the world. No, no. <laughs> I, you know what, there, there are so many fighters that, I, I mean, I could tell you that I admired and adored over the years. God rest his soul, the marvelous one, Marvin Hagler. You know, he was a great, great middleweight. Um, I was a very big Hector Camacho fan, you know, from my Hispanic roots, just for the fact that he was he was a very good fighter. You know, I think Sugar Ray was was a complete package. You know, if you're looking for brute strength and Iron Mike, yep, Iron Mike, you know, for sure. Iron Mike for sure. You know, so. I, honestly, I, I've had too many favorites to list, but I, I think if I had to really pinpoint one guy that I really thought, you know, had the complete tools in the package and kind of didn't get a chance to display it the way that he should have was Hector Camacho. Yeah, absolutely. He was hell of, and and hell it's, of a it's a sad thing, you know, what, what drugs can do to uh, an individual, you know, which is... I know the old slogan, tell them stay no to drugs. Listen, stay away from it. Absolutely. Stay away from it, you know, especially if you have visions to succeed in anything, whether it's boxing, whether it's basketball, whatever, life in general, you know, it's only going to tear you down. So. Yeah. so that's a very, very good message. And I'm sure that message is delivered to your, to your students here at Floyd Patterson Boxing Club for sure. Uh, what's a fun fact about yourself, Coach, that not many people know? I'm a good bowler, man. Oh. I'm a good bowler, man. Them, okay. Yeah, okay. I, could, I, could, I could do a little something, something. Okay. I still could shoot a little jump shot. So, you know, when we're done here, me and your son are going to do a little something. <laughs> you know, we're going to shoot a little something because I right. heard he's very good. So, sure. another former student of mine, by the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so what can we look forward to in the future from, uh, from your club, Coach? Hopefully, given the opportunity to continue to mentor kids the right way, steer them in a positive direction, and do the best that we can for the community, and just uh, you know try to keep relevant and keep the sport alive and teach the sweet science to everyone that wants to learn it, and you know uh, again just continue to be there for the kids and do what we can do as well for the, as well as for the adults of the community. Nice. So. Lastly, can you can you share your location, your contact? Who's the best contact if people yes. want to come out to Floyd Patterson Boxing Club? Absolutely. Um, well, we're located at 32 South Roberts Road in Highland, New York. Um, zip code is 12528. And uh, yeah, come on down. Telephone number is 845-430-0082. Uh, we're in the midst of a website right now, so I don't want to give you wrong information, but keep your eye out for the Floyd Patterson Boxing Club website and uh yeah come down and give us a try and, and uh, hopefully uh you know allow us to make you better than you already are absolutely thank you so much coach for joining real scene sports media it was a pleasure talking to you all day it's real all day it's real love you baby